Have you ever had a dream that that you um you had you 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 could you do you you want you you could do? What's going on, guys? And welcome back to Top Five Scary Videos. You ever see a scary movie that leaves you thinking about it for far too long? Maybe it was so scary you can't sleep at night, or maybe when you can sleep, your nightmares keep you up. Sleeping disorders affect nearly 30% of the general population. Are these reoccurring nightmares common? Is it just me? I mean, some nightmares are more common than others, but. Why? That's the question. I'm Taylor McWaters and here are the top five scary nightmares and what they mean. Number five, being chased. Growing up, I always loved playing tag. I was one of the few that actually enjoyed being it. It was a much less scary position to be in, at least I found. I could see where I'm going, I could see where I need to be, plus I was fast, like, real fast. Being chased, however, much less fun. It always made me anxious not being able to see how close my friends were to actually tagging me. That being said, nightmares about being chased are actually very common, of course. According to a sleep study on a Mary Sleep, 64% of us have nightmares about being chased. Why is this so common? What does it mean? Well, according to psychotherapist Richard Nicoletti, being chased in a nightmare generally means that you're being told by your subconscious that you're avoiding an issue or a person, and who or whatever is chasing you matters. Yeah, no sh**. I'm sure being chased by a toddler feels a lot different than being chased by a 40 foot giraffe. Being chased in your dream isn't even a chase too, it's just you running on the spot slowly while something giant and scary just lurks behind you. It's totally unfair. OP. Nicolaiti goes on to say that it would be very strange if somebody went their entire lifetime without once dreaming of being chased. The best thing to do is to try and pinpoint the stressful situation in your life and nip it in the bud. I mean sometimes I have nightmares about being chased but it's usually like up or down a flight of stairs or something. Oh, it's the worst. My ankles don't even work too in the dream. They're always folding underneath me like baloney. I don't know, something soft. I wonder if I should pay my phone bill. Maybe that's it, it's probably it. Number four, teeth falling out. Ooh, this next one hits very close to home. So I broke both of my front teeth, not once, but twice, both within a year of each other. So I lost like four teeth basically. I said I was a fast runner, I never said I was a good runner, okay? Fine print. If you've ever chipped or lost a tooth, you know it's not a good time. While many people have luckily never experienced their chiclets falling out of their face in real life, you may have had nightmares about it. According to sleep studies, your teeth represent power and confidence. So, dreaming about your teeth falling out, could mean that something is going on in your life that is making you feel like you're, well, lacking power and or confidence. Another common interpretation of a teeth nightmare is that you're experiencing a personal loss. Like maybe you're no longer in a relationship or no longer working at the same company. Whatever the case may be, the state of which your teeth are in while you're dreaming could very well be a hint at the ongoing problem. Some believe that losing or choking on teeth is a sign of verbal regret. Maybe you got into a heated argument and said some stuff that went a bit too far. The feeling of regret doesn't just go away at night. In fact, you probably will replay the scenario in your head multiple times when you're laying there. So, naturally, the anxiety will follow you while you're sleeping, causing you to think of your regretful words and thus lose your teeth in the meantime. Or perhaps it's the opposite. Maybe you didn't say something when you had the perfect chance to. Now, of course, this nightmare could just mean that you have something wrong with your teeth as well. Maybe you went a little bit too hard with the Halloween candy and now you gotta deal with a cavity or six. Whatever the case, it's best not to ignore these nightmares. Number three, falling. Nightmares of falling are super common, but it's how we're falling that matters the most. The main reason we fall in our dreams is believed to be that your life may be out of control or going downhill in a certain way. Thanks, brain. According to Dr. Kathleen O'Connor, the best way to avoid nightmares of falling is to just embrace it. The more you think about how badly you don't want to have a falling nightmare, the more it will happen. God, what kind of mind game is this? Not every nightmare about falling is the exact same. I mean, some variations of the common nightmare have totally different interpretations. For example, being pushed by a person means that somebody else is responsible for the anxiety that you're feeling at night. And according to dreamdictionary.com, if you're unable to see the face of the person that pushed you, you might be connected to the shadow side of your personality. Spooky. This is your neglected side, the unknown part that pushes you to your own troubles. Kind of like Tobey Maguire in Spider-Man 3 when he's all emo, he's snapping his fingers, pointing at people. The most common falling feeling we get is called the hypnic jerk, and no, it is not a TikTok dance. The hypnic jerk usually happens right when you start to doze off and all of a sudden it feels like you just fell off a ledge. So what's the deal? Why does this happen so often? Well, during the sleep cycle, your body starts to relax as your mind drifts to sleep. And with this process, your brain will send a message to your body to be immobile. That way, if you dream about being lost in the woods, you don't end up trashing your entire bedroom at the same time. <laughs> So your brain says it's bedtime and your body usually cooperates, usually. Sometimes your body will have an involuntary reaction to this and cause you to shoot back to reality. 
and that's called the hypnic jerk. It's always so embarrassing too. Like, I mean, especially if someone catches you waking up. Ah, oh, maybe you accidentally dozed off during a lecture. There's literally no way to play it off cool. Oh my god! Uh, what page are we on, guys? Number two, death. Dreaming about dying can be quite an alarming experience, obviously. Dream analysis and author Lori Lowenberg believes that dying in a nightmare means that you are dealing with some sort of change or closure in your real life. And to quote Lori, the subconscious will show us this change in the form of a death so we can better understand the finality of it. Another common dream to have is if somebody you know kills you. Dick move. It's actually a good omen for the most part. It's said to mean that whoever you see kill you in your dream is urging you to commit to a new change. That's one way of motivating your friend. Congrats on the new job, Kyle. Stop, 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 stop. Another common reason we dream about death is due to guilt. Maybe you lied to the loved one about something and it's eating you up inside. That feeling just doesn't go away when you sleep as well. It lingers. And your anxiety and guilt over the situation will be represented in your subconscious as death. Seeing a dead loved one in your dream can also be a wild experience. Some find comfort in it. Others are horrified of the experience. Seeing a deceased loved one is usually a good sign. I mean, if you're spiritual, you may see it as them visiting you and checking in on you. Dr. Charity Verkler Kayambe suggests that when a loved one dies, usually the last place you see them is in a hospital bed. And not wanting that to be the last image you remember them by, your mind will see them happy and in a place more comfortable and suiting for them when they passed away, but only in your dream. So next time you see Gam Gam in a dream, just she might be checking up on you, so don't do anything too crazy. And finally, number one, you guessed it, being naked. These dreams are so common, the odds that one of you had this dream last night are pretty high. Guys, we've all had these ones. Maybe you're talking to your high school crush, maybe you're standing at your locker acting all cool, maybe you're smoking, I don't know. Then all of a sudden, everybody starts laughing at you and you're completely naked. Ugh, it's such a horrible feeling. Your chest feels hot, you try and cover up with notepads. It's not a good time. The common nightmare usually means you feel exposed or vulnerable. Yeah, that checks out. Stephanie Galing, dream analysis and author of the complete book of dreams suggests that this nightmare happens at a time when you feel unprepared for something important. So if you're dreaming of shopping downtown and then all of a sudden you're butt naked out of the blue, it might just mean you need to study for that test a little bit longer. Another common variation of the nightmare is that you're naked, but nobody else seems to notice or care. Weird. The meaning behind this is that you're proud of your insecurities. Yeah, it symbolizes your mental freedom, but in a physical dreamlike manner. So the next time you catch yourself suddenly naked in the middle of class, embrace it, stretch out, relax. I mean, you're doing something right. Well, there you have it guys. I know we missed a lot of common nightmares, so be sure to let us know in the comments down below which ones so I don't feel alone. And as always, make sure you subscribe and while you're there, hit the notification bell. That way you don't miss any future videos. I'm Taylor McWaters. Thanks for tuning in. There's the most. The main reason, the main reason, uh,